pals welcome to my channel Moo Budgets if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me on yet another video um if you are new here then apologies for my voice um I lost my voice sort of yesterday um and I hope it's not too annoying but if you want to turn the sound down and put captions on uh, hopefully they'll pick them up um <clears throat> or just not watch I don't mind no, it's so annoying. If it's too annoying and I watch it back, I won't post. I did already start doing it an hour ago and my camera memory ran out. So um, it was really infuriating. So I went away, had a cup of tea, come back and hopefully my voice holds out. Um, normally I would do two videos on the weekend. One for my closeout and one for my cash stuffing, but I'm just going to fire on and try and get them both done and hopefully they'll clear some memory and it will be fine. So as I said already, I've already gone through this. So hopefully I'll just go through it quick. Um, I also want to say a thank you to everyone that's reached out already and wished me well and hope that my voice comes back, etc. I've got to be honest, I don't feel unwell. Um, it's just my voice. Obviously my throat feels uncomfortable with talking and swallowing because obviously it's swollen, there's something not right in it. But in general I feel well um, and that's fine. So yeah, huge thank you to everyone for reaching out. So let's crack on. Uh, my rollover brought in from last week was 890 22 pence. I brought £15 in from Etsy. I originally budgeted five but then I used more than I originally intended to. Um, Sending out the 50p trackers um, to everybody that already bought 50p challenge. If you are still um, one of the old, that's not the right word, if you have an old version of the 50p tracker uh, challenge and would like the tracker to save up to 250, just give me a message either on Instagram um, or on the order on Etsy um, and I'll get one sent out to you. Um, because it's going to come standard on the tracker from now on. Um, I had £9.68 of other income coming in, so that was from like a roundup account I had on one of my bank accounts. Um, so I just fired that back over and put it into my budget because I'm not going to use it. Um, I had, it was like, if you spent £1.59, it would save the 41p or whatever um, in an account. But I'd cancelled it and it was just money sitting. And I used £74.65 pence from sinking funds, which we'll go through the further down. So my total income for this week was £989.55. I then had two bills come out this week. We had the, mat, the 200 Club at £400. That is like a village raffle. And every summer they do a week of activities for the kids and the locals and like the um, like bingo and... Um, accordion and fiddle clubs and stuff like that for the older generation rather than the kids um, and dances for like the middle kind of ages so yeah it's, it's a good week um, but so that money goes towards that um, which is good I've never won anything from this raffle but I do another village raffle and I won money from that so that's grand um, 66 pounds, 66 pence came out from my mattress. I don't think there's many more months to go on that, one or two, so then that'll be freeing up into my budget, which is good because I'm going to need it for Christmas. So in total, my bills came to 70 pounds and 66 pence. I deducted that from the 989.55 and that left me with one 918 and 89 pence. So I went through my purse with everything about what money I had left over, but we'll just do it together just now because it's already done. So we spent £45.54 between myself and the dog's food for the week. Um, I'm hoping to get this down a bit, it's too much. Um, I do have stuff in my freezer that I need to use up, but I do like to cook from fresh, which is why I end up thinking, oh, that'll do and put it in the freezer, and then I end up buying fresh to make myself. So like things like chicken KFs and um breaded fish and all that. I do all that myself like on a day but I have it in the freezer of it just in case I can't be bothered. So I need to kind of maybe eat some of that up but I am going to go and try the Asda essential range. Um living in the Scottish Highlands I believe that our essential range is a whole lot smaller than a lot of other places which is understandable but we're gonna go check it out and see what it's like whilst I have money food in my fridge and in my freezer and I have the money to allow me to because I'm quite 
picky when it comes to pre-made food. Um, I like it to taste like homemade stuff. So yeah, um, we're going to get some of the basic stuff and give it a try because uh, there is a lot of stigma about people buying it and I think it's a great, I mean it is just basically the smart price range that they already had just you know, made better and bigger but there is stigma on buying cheaper brands um, and it, there is a thing about the taste, the taste can, it does mean a lot, you know if you get a good brand it does tend to taste better but um, yeah, we're going to give it a try and I'll feed back and let you all know how we got on. I might even do a video on it, let you see. Um, just so that people who are on a lower income, like I'm lucky, I'm on a pretty reasonable income for living on my own and, you know, just getting through the, the months. I'm doing it, but, you know, anything could happen and it may be that my income is reduced and I would need to, um, you know, not be precious about the food I eat and if it's something it's really poor um so I'll give it a try and let you all know how we get on. Fuel has spent eighty pound. Now this is going to be able to come down quite soon because in my local village, um not the one I live in but the one next to me, the one I was actually brought 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 up in, uh, the fuel has gone down hugely. Went down by ten P in one week. Um so I filled my tank completely, it was pretty much on empty. I filled it completely. Probably could put another couple of pound on it. Um but yeah, so I spent the £80, but I think it will be able to be under £80 for next week, which will be amazing because it's been steadily increasing, so it's good for it to be coming back down again. Oh, excuse me, I spent £1.49 on my spending to get some lozenges for my throat. They didn't do any different because it's not sore, it's just slightly swollen. Um, so yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going on there? I didn't spend anything in miscellaneous. I spent £9.90 in work spending. I am considering putting this up because it's getting quite tight. Um, you know, like when you're out with somebody and they're having a cake and you can't afford a cake. Well, not that you can't afford it. You've not budgeted for a cake. Um, you know, and it just, it just feels weird. So I might put that up a little bit so that I can... Um, just have the same as what my client is having sort of thing and then I would have money left over to put into these challenges anyway so it would all go into the budget. Etsy postage I spent 20 so I brought 15 in and then I still had five left over from the week before and I spent all of that. I think there is still a couple of bits of change but I just roll that over because it's a business of money rather than my own personal money. I put £10 into electric so that is sitting in my purse ready to go on my meter which I think, I'm hoping with the nice weather we're getting that we'll be able to hold out till the end of August before having to put any money on my meter so um, I live in hope on that I spent £39.65 on my eating out cart so there were £60 sat on that so we spent that um, we went out for dinner, my boyfriend was going to pay but then he got chatting to a couple that we know um, the restaurant was closing up so I went off and paid just till they could start doing their till um, and so rather than him give me that back i was saying it was absolutely fine i had the money um so if we go out for dinner the next time we went for dinner he will pay so that's fine by me and i spent 35 pound on my beauty it was planned i just forgot to put it into the budget but um i got my nails done so i have um some lovely so many butterflies and a wee leaf on couldn't think what to do on this finger and then on uh sort of just a French tip on there. I actually had a bubble in it and I popped it in, so I'm not looking after that one very well at all. So I'll be in trouble from my nail tech. <laughs> so I deduct. I added all that up and it came to two hundred and forty-one pound fifty-eight. I deducted that from the nine one eight and it came to six seven seven thirty-one. I then put ninety pound into sinking funds, which you would have seen if you watched my last cash stuff cash stuffing video, um, and that left me with five eight seven thirty-one. Rushing through this because I'm conscious that my memory could just run out at any point. So this is where we ran out of the duel the last time. <laughs> so um, I put ten pound into my make move challenge, which was in my budget as planned. And so now we'll go through the purse and see what is left for the challenges. So because I've already kind of organised it, it's all in here rather than in the back pocket. So that is fine. So we're just going to take out all the change. easier to get this out of the plastic pocket than this so 
so there was four pounds and 46 pence left in groceries I think yeah nothing in fuel there's three pound 59 in my spending miscellaneous and see postage is a separate entity I know but there's nothing left in that and then 10 pence left in quick spending electric stays in there fan spending and eating out stays with it's up so we are going to put the five pound into the tea challenge we will separate all this money uh, 50p so that is the four challenges that I'm doing. So let's see where we can go. Right, my yellow binder is where my challenges are kept now. So we'll skip past the McMoo. So the rainy day challenge is going to get the notes. So it's going to get the five pound. Oh, wrong pen. So it will get the five pound note. So in total in here now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. That's building up really quickly. And this challenge saves you 150 in total, so we're kind of halfway there. That's brilliant. So the daisy chain will get the pound coins and the two pound coins. So we have one, two, three. And then we actually have two, three, four, so we can do two. I think if I only had three, so I couldn't go to number four, I would just put the money aside and um, I'll leave it for next week and add it to whatever I had next week um, so that it would be rather than putting into the pound challenge. But I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because once we get... To the five you know you'll need a note and a one so we'll see where we go with that one um and then the 50p challenge which i don't have written in my book is going to get my first 50p so oh, did it oh no that's not the right pen 50p so that is going to go in a little tin up here and then this is what i was talking about earlier with the tracker so now it will come standard with this on the this side of it the challenge will be flipped so this will be the front and this will be the back but it will come in one sheet of um challenge um but anybody that's already got this sheet with this on the back if you message me you can get one of these just um, message me on your order on instagram and i'll get that out to you so that's where we're at with this so we put five pound into the rainy day challenge we put four five six seven pound into the daisy chain um, we put, um, we don't have the 50p challenge, let's put that in here. Doesn't look great, but we'll sort it for next week. Put this 50p in there. And then the penny challenge is going to get 40, 52, 3, 4, 5. No, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh my goodness me. So it's going to get 57 pence. And that is going to go in this tin. And that's the money we have left over from last week. Sorry, that was probably really loud. I wasn't thinking apologize so where did I put my calculator so in total in challenges we put in 10 and 5 and 7 and 50p and 57p so 23 pound and 7 pence of savings so take that away from the 587 31 and that leaves us with 5, 6, 4, 24. 
and that is actually correct. My goodness, given the mess that this was, I'm quite chuffed that that worked. Okay, so that's us into 15 minutes just for the checkout. So I'm going to be trying to be really, really quick with my cash stuffing, but I really need to do it in the one video because, um, or will I? Will I just go get a cup of tea and come back? Oh, maybe I will. So yeah, so that is our close out for today. We have closed out and it's exactly what is in the bank, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Apologies, huge, huge apologies if this my voice has annoyed you. Um, I really am sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, um, I'm going to go get a quick cup of tea and ease my throat a little bit. And then I'll come back and do a quick cash stuff with y'all. Um, so yeah, take care and I'll speak to y'all soon. Bye bye.